Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game for Scratch, and today we are looking at another really cool add-on for the Godot game engine, and this one is called Fracture, and it is all about fracturing 2D shapes, and as you're going to see in just a second, it's actually quite powerful, although I am technically lying to you a little bit, this isn't really an add-on, it's not an extension or a module, it's more of an example project that you can adapt to your own usage, but the code is really straightforward and easy to understand, and we'll get into that in just a second, but first I want to demonstrate what Fracture is capable of, and here we're actually in my web browser right now running the example out but don't worry this is not web only or anything like that but what you could do here is do simple fracture so I could do a tap and we'll fracture a shape there you see we're taking a, a polygonal 2d shape and we are basically exploding it or we can also do simple cuts like this Have you ever done uh say fruit ninja for example you can see the effects in action right there so we can do simple simple fractures like so, or we can do more complicated ones like this guy right here. And now you're going to see there is the result of cutting that guy up into bits. So if you want to create a game along the lines of Fruit Ninja, or uh, you want to do dynamic 2D destruction, this is a perfect example for you. And this is just one of the examples. So we're going to go over here. Uh, this is a different example, basically showing using projectiles. So you're going to shoot a projectile into the scene, and you're going to see it dynamically is fracturing the objects it hit. So I can actually create five bullets. Let's fire a couple more bullets into the scene. And you can see you can cut up uh, the way that, oops, I always go the wrong way with these bullets. I expect the, I expect the arrow to be drawn in the opposite direction to what I create. So you can see what is going on here. Another cool thing you can see in the background, we've got uh, textured objects being fractured in this particular case. Uh, there's also some code in here for restoring things. So if you've got shapes that are exploded, uh, you can have it kind of revert back to the uh, non-destroyed version after. Uh, again, another example of that. We've got uh, Delaunay fractures. There's two ways of doing fracturing. So here is using uh, Delaunay algorithm. And then here we're gonna switch another test. Uh, here's another. Delaunay algorithm with uh, convex hulls. And let's do change the test one more time. Here it is with rectangles. And here we are. Uh, this I think is using the random fracture. So there, there are the two different fracture algorithms at place here. And then of course there is the cutting algorithm as well. So you can also cut and fracture. There we go, let's split that again. A very cool framework on the whole. Again, we got the ammo. Let's fire a couple things off into the scene. So these are the various different examples that are available for you to check it out, but you get a good idea of what this framework is all about. If you want to go ahead and check this out, it's actually available up on itch.io uh, from Solo Byte Games. You can learn more here at itch.io. Don't worry, I will link all the links that are relevant in the linked article down below. The example we were just looking at is right here in the browser. Uh, the source code is available up on GitHub as well. Uh, it is under the MIT code license, which means you can basically use this however you wish in your own project. It was last updated 23 days ago, so it's fairly relevant to right now. And then if you're interested, and I will link this in the linked article down below, the developer who created this in the first place created it for his own game Nomad Sky which if you want to go ahead and check that out that is why Fracture, Fracture came about and this is available up on itch.io as well. So that is Fracture. We're going to go ahead and take a look at the project right now. Uh, if you come here to the itch.io page there's actually some pretty good information on what all the various different things do. So the point fracture system, uh, the ability to cut textured meshed objects, uh, we've got the, uh, the two different cutting systems that are in place. Uh, some details on the Delaunay, I don't know if I'm saying that wrong or not, and the cut line system for uh, fracturing objects, those are two options for you. Uh, the polygon restoration simple between, uh, sorry, restoration system between simple and advanced mode. Uh, and then if you're interested, some example games that were created, uh, and if you want to go ahead and grab these guys, if you don't want to do it from uh, GitHub, you can download them right here. Uh, the one that you're going to want is the source code available right here, or you can download pre-compiled binaries of the example for Windows if you just want to play with the uh, stuff we're looking at today. So here we are now. This is in, in the Godot game engine. I basically just downloaded the project, imported it as a project. And when you first load it up, you're going to probably be a little confused about where everything is. The entry point for everything is main.tscn. 
Uh, and you're going to open that guy up, and it's it, there's nothing here. It's literally empty. All there is is main in a world environment. Well, the key thing here is this script that is attached. So we're going to go look there. This, so this is the entry point. And what it's doing is basically going through all of the scenes, the various different test scenes that we saw in action that we pressed the W key to switch between, and loading them all in. You may be wondering, okay, where the heck are those scenes coming from? Well, those are being fed in. So you see here to this main object right there, we have a uh, script variable. So this is where all of the scenes are defined. So if you want to go ahead and create your own spin-off scene, uh, you can do so easily enough, just add it here into this uh, list. And then what you can see is you go into each one of these examples, and then you're going to see all of the logic that's going together. So if you want to go in and see, uh, for example, how cut fracturing is being done here, just open this guy up open up the script that's attached, and you're gonna find some nice clean code for the most part for everything that we're working with. Now, if you wanna go ahead and take the logic of this yourself and use it in your own project, instead of looking at the examples, where you wanna really drill into is down here, so instead of the demos, everything is implemented in this Polygon 2D-Fracture, and then there is a pool, a simple pooling system here as well. So if you want to uh, you know, reuse performance-wise, uh, there's a pooling object created for you for dealing with this stuff. So that library, but most of the logic is right here. So you've got the fractured lib. So the fracturing code is all available here. It is all implemented entirely as GDScript. And then here is the Polygon library used for creating the various different shapes that are used. It's a fairly simple and straightforward uh, chunk of code. Everything that is written is pretty clean and fairly easy to understand. Uh, so if you want to jump into it yourself, first off, you want to trace through what's going on here. Start with this various different scenes. They explain each of the different concepts um, in action. So each one of those is available under demo categories. So for example, demo, uh, test scenes, and you're going to find all the various different kinds. So the cut scene, for example, if you want to get into there, go into usable, and it's cutfracture.tscx. No, so that's, in that particular case, blob scene, usable, and then there and there. You're going to see, again, each one of these is simply being passed in as an array to main right here. And this is your simple loading script. Pretty straightforward. Nothing much going on here. It's just basically iterating through all of the scenes and adding them as children uh, to that. And then we've got simple code here for handling uh, changing between the scenes. That's, that's the extent of the holder here. Everything else is in each one of these particular uh, projects down there if you want to go ahead and jump in and learn more about them. And of course, there is the corresponding scene to go with it. So it's an interesting project for sure. Uh, I like that it, <coughs> excuse me. Well, that snuck up on me. Uh, you can see here the details of how everything works. It's pretty straightforward. These are the two libraries that you're going to want to export into your own project. So it's not technically an add-on, but I guess it could be made into an add-on. No problem at all. It's just kind of modular reusable code with a bunch of uh, demo stuff that you could jump in and learn about right there. And again, if you want to check this one out, it is available as a download on itch.io. Uh, it is also available on GitHub. Just basically clone the code right here. You're going to end up with the same uh, basic uh, project stuff. As you can see, there have been a number of releases over time with improvements going back for quite some time. Be interesting to see if this project keeps going, uh, but it is pretty mature at this point in time and it is being used for the game Nomad Sky by Solo Byte Games. So if you do want to go ahead and check that one out, again, it is up on itch.io. Uh, there's also a development blog that goes into like the process behind everything that you saw here. I, I like it. I, I think it's a very interesting project. It it's, again, obviously it's quite niche, uh, but it does what it does quite quite well. By the way, you have a typo, two L's in gallery. All right, that's it. Uh, so that is Fracture for Godot, uh, an interesting GD script only project. So it should be workable in just about every version of Godot going forward. May require a little bit of porting. There is some changes coming to GD script in Godot 4. I'm going to do that in an upcoming video. Uh, but for the most part, it should be pretty simple to use in your project. Uh, so you've got uh, the polygon lib GD, nice helper function for polygons to calculate area, triangulate, and so on. And then uh, polygon fracture is is where most of the logic is. Uh, pretty straightforward to use. Let me know what you think of this add-on in general. And if there's another Godot sample or add-on or something you think I should share with the community, uh, do let me know and I will do my best. And as you can see here, tried with it's been worked with most of the recent versions of Godot and should be good to go. All right, that's it. Fracture, let me know what you think. Comments down below and I'll talk to you all later. Goodbye.